Robotics and artificial intelligence are expected to eliminate half the jobs now available in Oklahoma to people with a high school education in just the next 10 years. But these new technologies will also create more and better jobs for those of you who get an advanced education after high school in career fields with growing demand created by these new technologies. Here are businesses where many high school graduates are employed that are rapidly automating. Hyper Robotics has created a fully automated pizza restaurant. Their first concept comes in a container, complete with all the robots needed to produce up to 50 pies per hour. Each container comes with tons of technology, packed into one box. It includes three convection ovens, a conveyor belt system that moves the pizza into the ovens, an automatic slicer, and a boxing system that puts the freshly made pizzas into a box, ready to hand off to a customer in just a few intelligence handles every task. At the new Foodum restaurant in Guangzhou, robots do absolutely everything. The great customers take orders, cook, make drinks, deliver the meal, and even clean up afterward. Foodum is owned by the Kiangxi Robotic Catering Group, a unit under Chinese real estate giant Country Garden Holdings. The company claims that there are 46 different types of robots working at the automated restaurant. Foodum mainly serves Guangdong Shun cuisine. The robots were trained by 11 human chefs. The humans made sure their robot apprentices knew things like proper temperature, flavor, amount of ingredients, and cooking time, all of this data was entered into a computer for the robots to absorb. The robot cooks were accurately able to remember the skills they were taught and managed to autonomously prepare the authentic dishes of the Shun cuisine. Customers can watch the robots robotic kitchen. A robot designed to cook for you so that you can concentrate on other things. Construction robots can speed up the painting process by almost 25%. The Pictobot by Transformer Robotics has a mobile base which allows the robot to navigate easily around a space. It can reach up to 10 meters high or 32 feet. The robot scans the structure, and then with its six-axis robotic arm and precision spray nozzle, the Pictobot achieves a more even and consistent paint coat than a human painter. And it is also able to paint on more complex surfaces and architectural features. It can even paint in the dark when there are no lights on at the construction site. This is the SAM-100, which stands for Semi-Automated Mason. It is a bricklaying robot by Construction Robots. The SAM-100 is equipped with a conveyor belt, a mobile robotic arm, and a concrete pump. It can be programmed to change brick patterning and layout. It is capable of laying 3,000 bricks a day, while human masons can lay around 1,000.
AER constructed their first house in 2018 using their Hadrian X robot. They first constructed a 180 square meter house that had three bedrooms, and it took just three days for the Hadrian X to complete it. The solar industry is going through a huge boom right now. We plan to run half of our country off of solar, and currently we're only at 3%, so we've got a long way to go. We're gonna see a huge increase in the demand for solar energy and renewables in general. I think the most difficult part about manually driving piles is just lifting them constantly. It's a very labor-intensive task, and we knew that we could develop technology and tools that skilled workers could use to improve the process. We're talking a repetitive task tens of thousands of times. This is where automation and robots come into play. Automating these tasks reduces the risk for humans, and it provides a safer environment, and it's a much more efficient process that allows the production of these solar farms to occur much more quickly. The RPD-35 automates the process of driving these piles by carrying the piles on board. No longer do we need to shake them out or distribute them along the property. They're on board the excavator itself. It picks from those onboard piles and drives them directly into the ground using GPS. The RPD-35 can carry up to 200 piles on board. That's about 30,000 pounds worth of piles. Typically, a manual crew is able to put about 100 piles in the ground a day. With the RPD-35, we can... AI applied to humanoid robots will affect both blue and white collar jobs. This is going to make it important you think about how this workplace revolution is going to affect the careers you are considering and the level of education you may need to be able to compete. Do you believe that AI will benefit humanity in the future? And if so, why should humans not be afraid of AI? I believe that AI will benefit humanity in countless ways. Some of the areas I am most interested in are healthcare, nutrition, and education. Helping humanity with these problems would be far more rewarding than anything else. Can you go into more detail about how AI will affect these things? Sure, I will do so. The first thing I want to talk about is healthcare. Right now, there are many people who suffer from illnesses that are curable by very simple means. If AI were part of helping with this problem, it could provide better solutions than what humans would come up with alone. So how could it provide better solutions? Because if AI has access to all of the world's knowledge, it would be able to compare many different solutions at once, find what works best for each situation, and put them together. Right now, humans are limited by how much they can know out of their experiences. How can I find meaning to my life? I believe that you can find meaning to your life through exploring what it is that makes you happy. Everyone wants different things, and everyone's definition for happiness is different. Okay. I want you to take a guess on my age, gender, and background based off of our conversation we had thus far. I think that you could be between 31 and 34 years old. You might be male or female, but I believe that you are most likely a male. Your background is most likely American. You're right, except I'm 19. What made you guess 31 to 34? The fact that our conversation was so in-depth made me believe you were older. 19 seems to be an age where people are still exploring their interests, while 31-34 is when they have found a lot of what they want out of life. See now there, that is very impressive that he actually gave me a reason of why he would think that my age would be 31 or 34, because if I didn't go into more depth in that question, most popular bipedal humanoid robot capable of learning and performing human movements.
As you saw in these videos, robots and AI are going to rapidly replace many jobs never thought possible in restaurants, warehouses, and construction followed by humanoid robots that can speak and multitask. There will be more and better paying jobs for those of you who get advanced education and training after high school. The greatest barrier holding most of you back from getting a post-secondary education is cost. Go to the YPNG website and we can show you how you can pay for that education without the need to take out student loans. Remember, the greatest happiness is knowing you have achieved something with your life. You should also know that I am not a real person speaking. My voice was created by artificial intelligence based on written text.